I'm someone who's working on the project of the Creative Commons certification. And this is how the editing might go with this uh, GitHub hosted site. So here is uh, a look at the competencies, the modules of the uh, core or master certificate. Uh, the major modules are on the left. And let's say I'm working on this. I'm in the copyright basics section and maybe I'm thinking about working on the public domain section under 1.4, which are the performance objectives. There are two uh, enabling objectives. And so I'm going to look at the public domain. And uh, obviously, there's not much here right now. Uh, so I'm going to click uh, the Edit button. And I'm going to go in a new tab over to GitHub. Now, I'm already logged in to GitHub uh, with my account. And I have been added as a collaborator uh, to this repo or repository, which means I can make uh, changes uh, directly. So uh, I don't have an idea now what I might add to the introduction, uh, but um, I do have some uh, links that I might have. So um, there is um, the book, The Public Domain, which is uh, licensed under uh, Creative Commons. So it's uh, got quite a bit, and we could actually link to maybe different sections um, that are in the online version. But for now, I'm just going to uh, put in perhaps the uh, link for this. So I'm going to write a hypertext link, and I've got to hit the pencil icon. And now I come into the editing mode, and I'm going to do a href. I'm going to make a couple typos, maybe three typos. Uh, so there is an example in the above here, um, the public uh, domain, um, I already forgot what the book was called, and Closing the Commons of the Mind by James uh, Boyle. Um, I'll put in parentheses, uh, book by James Boyle. So I'm putting in parentheses just a little description about um what this is. So I do have uh, one content. I do also have um, from the Center for the Study of the Public Domain at uh, the Duke uh, Law School this great uh, comic um, version of Explain the Public Domain, uh, which would make like a different kind of resource that we might use. So I'm going to put in here, uh, this is Tales from the Public Domain, uh, Bound by Law. Uh, so I'm going to add a second resource, and I'm going to do another li, a href. And you can already see that GitHub, when I started an li tag, it actually set up the closing tag. So it's helping me to try to be neat here with this. Um, and so I already forgot the title of this, uh, Bound by Law, or Tales from the Public Domain, <laughs> uh, Bound by Law. Um, Tales from the public uh, domain bound by law and I'll put in parentheses so I know where this comes from um, this is the uh, Center for the Study of the Public Domain hope I can remember this uh, Center for the Public for the Study <laughs> of the Public uh, domain, uh, close that, and so I've um, I have now added two resources um, to this, and maybe perhaps uh, I have an idea um, for an uh, an assessment activity. This is kind of more of a brainstorm idea, so I might want to be a little bit more well developed. So um, I could uh, make something about. Um, uh, Add uh, or let's see, um, remix a panel from the Tales from the Public Domain uh, comic uh, to include a specific example of reuse of PD materials. Not the greatest thing, but this is just a demo. So um, more or less um, adding um, two 
this section. And whenever you add something to GitHub, you leave a little comment or remark so other people uh, will know what's going on here. You don't have to say who it was because GitHub knows who you are, but um, added uh, two uh, resources and a uh, badly written <laughs> assessment um, idea. And so um, right now we want to just leave it to the faults. We're committing directly. Uh, GH pages is just the name of the place where our stuff goes. Um, we've gone here um, right now and uh, we just made a change to this and um, it may take uh, a few seconds but I will try and see if I can uh, I'll do a shift reload just to make sure uh, I get um, the uh, content is fresh from the server and uh, my example is going to go south because probably the weird way that uh, this gets cached it could take a few minutes um, but believe me the change is in there uh, maybe if I launch over to uh, my other browser and get out of Twitter this is a terrible uh, Oh, I know why. Uh, because I was not looking at uh, the. I was looking at a local version of um, the website. Just ignore this. And uh, boy, what a lousy demo. So, CCC map. I should have planned. So, I go to the core right now. I'm going to go back and look in the public domain one more time, open public domain, and look at that. There we go. The two links I've added and the two examples. So that is how the editing would work uh, for someone who has added to the project, uh, which means that uh, project participants uh, will be able to um, commit or contribute directly uh, to this website, and um, their edits go live. Um, if you go to the right website. Um, for the general public, uh, we'll have to do a, another demo. Uh, they can still do this through GitHub, um, but they actually have to like submit a request um, for putting the information in. Another important piece of GitHub that we will try to use is um, under issues um, is a place like discussion, but you can sort of um, enter problems you found or suggestions uh, that you might want to add to it. And then it goes to the people involved in the project and then they can respond to them with comments or they can uh, check them off as um, uh, thank you very much, we won't do anything, or um, that's a great idea, we will do those changes. So let's say I want to add a new issue. Um, uh, let's see, uh, create uh, uh, better ideas for... Uh, Framing assessments. Um, I was a little uh, confused as to how much to write for an assessment idea. Maybe a linked example for people uh, who are new. Um, so I just submit that uh, as an issue. You can include links uh, in issues. You can include um, images, etc., to help explain what you're talking about. Uh, but this is a way in which um, GitHub uh, sort of facilitates the discussion of um, collaborative projects. So I hope this can get you started, um, at least on making some edits and getting used to the environment. And uh, we look forward to seeing how this works out.